guys. Today I'm uh, driving off to a meeting, and uh, today I, I wanted to just chat a little bit about uh, planning for your personal branding photo session. And there are some things that uh, are really helpful for you to do to make sure that your session goes exactly how you want it to go and that um, the photographer is able to get the images that you really need for your business. So um, the first thing that, that is super, super important to, to do is to, is to figure out what stories you want to tell. So whether that story is a story about um, the story of, of your faith, whether it's a story of being a parent or your family, um, whether it's a fitness journey or a health journey in general, um, figuring out that story uh, and those stories that you really want to share is the first step. The second thing is figuring out what activities you can do to share those stories. So that is going to involve uh, maybe figuring out some locations, thinking, thinking through what locations might be good, a good place for you to share those stories. So at home might be the perfect, perfect place in your dining room or in your living room. Um, the other place might be uh, a local trail that you go and hike. Or another thing to consider would be going to your gym and, and doing some photos at your gym. And you might have to get approval from the gym to, to be able to bring a photographer in there. But um, Or if you have a home gym, that's, a, that's another perfect thing to do. Um, and then, so thinking through those locations is really important. And then the other thing is, the other thing that's related to this is thinking through what props you're going to need to tell these stories. And, and those might be things that you already have around the house, but it might not be. It might be things that uh, you want to go and buy fresh, like flowers are one of those things that you need to buy fresh. If you have a product that you sell, having a brand new product there at the time of the shoot, something that has not been touched, has not been opened, that's clean, like you want to clean off any fingerprints, if it's like a glass bottle or um, some kind of a jar or something shiny uh, that's reflected that's going to get fingerprints on it, you want to make sure all that stuff is clean ahead of time so that when you're actually shooting, the shooting goes by quickly. And I'm getting a phone call, how funny. Um, you want to make sure that that goes by, the shooting is able to go by quickly and, we're, and you're not spending time trying to um, clean stuff or, you know, fill up a bottle to make it look like it's full or you just want to make sure that your product is prepped and ready to go so that um, you don't have to spend time doing that. The other thing is you want to use your living room or dining room or kitchen for the, the shoot. All that stuff should be clean ahead of time so that there's not like little, just little things around. It'll make for a much cleaner uh, look in your photos. However you want your stuff to look, make sure that it's ready to go. Having different settings, having different um, stories to tell. The other thing that's going to be important is different outfit changes because if you are working to get images for the next three months, you don't wear the same clothes for three months. So it's important to have, you know, two or three or four or 12 different outfits. Make it worthwhile so for you to uh, get a variety of images in a variety of outfits. So those are a few things to, to keep in mind. And if you have any comments, questions about anything, please comment below. I would love to answer any questions. Look forward to seeing you guys on the next one.